Hello once again, YouTube fans. Tim Cooper, Cooper's Automotive Repair, and we have a 2002 Ford yeah, E250 van in here today. The guy does uh, construction work. Anyway, his complaint was, hey, I don't have any brake lights, and I checked the fuses on this thing, and all the fuses are good. I put new bulbs in it, and I still don't have any brake lights. So uh, we're going to go through the process and uh, see what we find. Uh, a tool that I use when I'm, I'm doing these repairs, you can use a regular circuit tester. This is what we call a power probe. It reads voltage and ground. You connect it to the battery here. And you can apply power to circuits or ground to circuits. And be careful with these if you're working on computers. Uh, don't want to be applying power to things that you're not supposed to. You burn stuff up. Uh, but we're going to use this. Uh, since he's already checked the fuses on it, I'm going to go straight to uh, the brake light switch, which is usually the common issue with them, and uh, see if I got voltage to that, and uh, kind of explain to you how that works. So follow me over here. And people ask me, how in the world do you handle these dingers that go off all the time? And you know, <laughs> they, they don't drive me nuts. I, I guess I can block them out, but right underneath here above this brake pedal, He's going to get you a picture of this brake light switch. I'm going to put a light on it. Uh, hopefully you can see this. It's in a bad angle. But there's a little green wire there going to it. I um, uh, can't see the color of the other wire. But on one side of that switch, it's supposed to be 12 volts. And when you depress the brake pedal, it should be 12 volts on the other side. So we're going to see if we've got that first. That kind of that eliminates fuses and everything when we check that. Test light or your power probe. And you'll probably hear the power probe beep. Okay. Hear that beeping? We got 12.4, 12 and a half volts basically on one side. The brake pedal's not depressed at this minute. And we got nothing on the one side. Now I hit the brake pedal and we got 12 volts. And I put a mirror back in the back of the van to tell me so I don't have to walk back there to depress it and I got nothing we got no brake lights coming to the rear so uh, we got to do a little more searching back there probably gonna have to uh, sometimes what I'll do because I've seen it happen so many times on these vans I turn the key on I'll play with the four-way switch and you see we got four-way flashers flashing back there. But that thing is stick sometimes. It causes the brake lights not to work. Try it again, I didn't get anything. Play with the turn signal switch and just kind of wiggle it around. See if I can get anything there. And I got nothing. So we gotta go back to the back of the van now. And that's a long van. I hope the power probe is going to reach. I'm going to take this. I'm going to take one side out here, the little torque bits here. Let me grab a tool. Okay, we're at the back of the van here. So I don't have to walk back and forth to have somebody help me. I bypassed that brake light switch by running a clip wire across the connector. So I'm going to do that and then come back here and test these circuits. Brake light switch. Let's take this cover off. Let's see what we got going on here. I know he put 
put bulbs in it, but did he put the right bulbs in it? Maybe he put the wrong bulbs in it. that circuit runs through the turn signal switch so I've got to take some stuff apart and, and take you on the next step for that so take a pause on it and we're going to pick up from that point okay we're back another busy day at Cooper's Automotive and uh, back on this 2002 E250 Ford van with inoperative brake lights uh, we did customer said they checked the fuses did all those things we're probably going to go back over the basics in this thing but before we do any of that, we want to go take a look at a wiring diagram, find out where everything's at and how it operates. So we're going to shoot and hopefully get you a picture off the computer of the wiring diagram component location. Okay, um, I pulled the wiring diagram up. This is a picture of it. Um, Dave, so point at this. With them, I'm gonna see if I got something to point out. I'm just get a little pin here. So we've got fuse number seven, a 10 amp fuse going to the turn. This is a turn signal switch. And fuse number 11, a 15 amp fuse, comes across, goes to our brake light pedal switch. We know we got power here. We've got this bypassed, and all the leads coming out of it. So we know we got power here. Um, I'm going to double check this fuse. Oh, we got a stoplight relay. This is something in common with this thing. So we want to see it's in the underhood box. We want to go we want to go to this relay right here. I think would be the best thing. I'm writing on my my computer. I'm going to go to this relay. We want to see that we got 12 volts here coming through the brake light switch on the light green wire here. We got a ground. We need to see 12 volts on pin circuit number five right there. So the underhood junction box. Let's go back to the vehicle. The under power distribution box is right is right here. It's cover snaps off here. Um, let me see. I use a power probe. Guys use test lights. You can do that. Um, the relay. I am not sure which one it is. Let's see. I've got. The key. I got the switch bypass. Let me see if this one's clicking, making any sound. Uh, I hear it clicking. Okay, that doesn't mean anything, but the relay does activate. Um, got these relay boosters or adapters. Put that in there. Put a relay on top. This makes it so we can access all the wires to the relay. Um, so you've got pin number, I believe it's pin number one. We, we got 12 volts right there. See if you can see that on the power probe. We got 12.2 volts, so we got power there. Pin number five needed to be hot. It isn't. Mm, 
That's weird because the brake has power to it. It's on the same fuse. I'm gonna power up pin number five when I do this. I'm gonna have him take a shot at the brake lights just to see if they light up back there with everything bypassed. Um, uh, wait a minute. Five right is right there. Okay. So let's power up. Let's power up pin number five. Yeah, it's it's not hot. Let's see if we get some brake lights. Ah, look at that. Look at that. Okay. So for some reason, we don't have power coming from the fuse underneath the dash. So let's go underneath the dash and double check the fuse. Go grab a flashlight. Dave put underneath here. Fuse box underneath here. couple clips hold it in and pull it out so I can see it then get my power probe again test that fuse circuit it was fuse number 11 right there and we're hot there we're hot there but we're getting to the brake light switch um, let's spin this thing around Go to the back of it. It's that, okay, it's that green and red wires there. Let's make sure we got it coming out the back. Just gonna pierce them. We got it there. Um, I got I got it there. Guys, we got a broke wire somewhere between harness here out to that out to that box. Uh, Let's go out to that box and check behind it. Hush, dinger, hush. All right, so we know we know we don't have any power coming in from there. Let's see what it takes to get this box and then we'll lift it up. Okay, there's a clip right there. There's a clip right there. So we gotta unclip those and and get those out of there. Uh, I'm just going to use that hose clamp thing and see if I can't uh, get this thing to lift. There's one clip. Oh, come on, baby. There we go. Okay. Actually, it's separated up. It's separated up on the top. That's cool. All right. Um, well, we're gonna have to get this reservoir out of the way. All right. Let's get. Power steering reservoir. What's out of the way there? Get this thing back so we can hopefully lift this box up get behind this thing see our wires behind there again I hope you can see this um, there's the relay okay there's the red wire with a green tracer on it green stripe I doubt we're gonna have anything here. All right, you know what? Hang on just a second. Get a trusty little wire piercer here. Get that thing in there, connect it. Let's see if we got any voltage here. Not a, not a thing. And reading, reading ground because it's running through the relay. Just all right. Well, we either got to take this wiring harness apart, start doing some searching. I've got to run a new wire from that fuse box out to here.
to fix this problem. So and, uh, back on the van again, I decided to do some exploratory surgery. And I'm uh, following the veins, if you will, wires. And I pulled this, uh, well, first thing that I did, if you look down here, I peeled this wiring harness back and I found my green, light green with my red trace wire right here. And uh, Tessa, I had 12 volts right here. So I knew that my brake was between here and this fuse box right here. I stripped this uh, cover with a couple 10 millimeter bolts out, cut all the uh, electrical tape off of it, and I, I grabbed a hold of that wire and said, would you look at that? And went and traced and found the other end right there. So, and it, well, I'll strip it right now and we'll, we'll obviously conclude that we've got this thing fixed. Uh, sometimes, you know, should I have called the customer? Probably, yeah, but I'm hard-headed enough sometimes, well, all the time, that I want to fix it. I want to fix it right. It ain't always a matter of making money. It's a matter of feeling good that you did the right thing. So, if you look back, um, the tail lights now, I've got the brake light switch bypass right there. I'm connecting, disconnected that wire, connected that wire. There you are. So, I'm going to solder that wire back together. How, how a wire breaks up in a harness like that, man, I don't know. Fatigue over time or something pulls it, I don't get it. But uh, we'll heat, you know, solder that together, heat shrink it up. I'll take a good look at the rest of the wires. Electrical tape, all that stuff up. Put all of our pieces back together. And uh, that's a wrap, 2002 Ford E250 van that you would think would be a simple brake light in op repair, a blown fuse, or usually a, a stoplight switch. Digging in all of that. I probably got two hours in this thing, but she's 